music for this Mass for the fourth Sunday of Lent can be found in the worship aid on the homepage of churchofthejesu.org. God see, 
Because man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any one of these. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was a ruddy youth, handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness. Rather, expose them. For it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. to what I call 
bad theology. This man is blind, and they immediately think he must have been a sinner. And the rabbis think he must have been a sinner, and the scribes and the Pharisees. So he owed this. He's, he should be blind. Look what he did. I think that's important for us to recognize, because we're in one of these moments now. Why is all of this happening around us? And some of us might be tempted to use bad theology and say we're being punished or some such thing like that. What happens in our life, well first, we don't always understand, we rarely understand the grand plan of life. But what Jesus wants us to do is find the way to live our lives in truth and in light and in love and in mercy right in the middle of these difficult situations that, that fall upon us. While we don't understand the big story, what we do understand is God gives us the grace and Jesus teaches us how to live through challenging and difficult questions and how to live through difficult circumstances where we don't know where to go. He teaches us that He will be with us. He teaches us that grace is always with us. And he teaches us that we should be salt and light and hope and mercy and love as the world unfolds right before us at all times. But especially in those moments when we're tempted to ask the questions, well, why did God do this to us? Jesus shows us God doesn't do this, but he shows us how to live with what the circumstances bring us. And so I find that first line very helpful. I also found myself for the first time thinking about this gospel in a different way. Um, I think preparing this in my office, thinking about mass like this is making me think about the scriptures differently. I always think of the blind man and Jesus' interaction with him and what happens to him. But you want to know what? Everybody's blind in this story. And the only one who really gains his sight physically is the blind man and spiritually. The Pharisees and the scribes are unwilling to see God's grace. They're just as blind, if not more so, than the blind men. They want God to act the way they want God to act. They want God to act in a way that makes sense for them. And Jesus shows us today that God's grace breaks through and frees people and gives them light. This man is converted because he has a beautiful conversation with Jesus. The, the desire for us is to hear these words and let the words of God's compassion and God's love break through. Because what God wants us to be is like this man in the gospel when he says he is a prophet and he says, I do believe. He wants ultimately for us to open people's eyes by the way that we are light for the world. He calls on us today to be light. We hear from St. Paul today. He says um, that everything exposed will become visible, that he wants us to be children of the light. Today, let us ask God for the grace that we can be the light in these troubled times and that by our living, grace and mercy and love can be that moment that open people's eyes and see God's presence. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us turn to God with all of our needs. We pray first for our holy church, for Pope Francis, for the bishops, for all those who lead and guide the people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for our local civil and elected officials in University Heights, in Ohio, and in our national level, that they may be filled with wisdom and guidance during these troubled times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for all those scientists and doctors working diligently to help us deal with the coronavirus and for all those taking care of the sick, especially the nurses and the doctors who are overworked and at risk, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we pray for all those people in our parish who are alone these days, who are fearful, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we also continue to pray for all those people we know who are sick, who have some illness that they need that our help in our prayers and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, and we pray for our Mass intention, which is for all the people of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Kind and loving God, we thank you for all of your gifts, especially the gift of your gospel, which is our light these dark days. We, your holy people, come before you with all of our needs, those we have expressed and those needs we each carry in our hearts. In your great mercy and comfort, hear and answer our prayers. We ask all these things through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our brother. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Lord, I'll show you my you cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the all of his holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the mystery of the Incarnation, he has led the human race that walked in darkness into the radiance of faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of regeneration to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end acclaim. <laughs>
therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he took bread into his hand, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands. Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. accept us together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of peace among all people, and may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, the bishops, and with your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and language who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith, the faith of the Church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with each of you. And with your spirit. Let us pray for peace for our families and for one another.
Let us pray. O God, who enlighten everyone who comes into the world, illumine our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may, we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon those who will call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death, and bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is our joy. Let us go forth to love and to serve him. Thanks. Thanks be Please look online for all announcements for the parish on our website, www.churchofthejesu.org. Thank you.